A new survey of teenagers and parents finds that 60% of teen internet users have created online accounts that their folks don't know about. That is more than twice the percentage of parents who suspect their teens have secret accounts. It's something, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, in the new issue of Wired Magazine, contributor Mary H.K. Choi meets five teens across the country to learn how high schoolers actually use social media. In her article, Like Ghost Flirt, she writes, teens are strange and magical. Who, says, who saw Facebook coming? It was teens. Same with Twitter, Vine, and now Snapchat. And this puts them in a curious position because it makes them one of the most inscrutable generations in history to people who desperately want to scrutinize them. Mary, good morning. And what don't we understand about what teens are doing oh. with social media? Oh, man. So teens are mysterious, and social media is mysterious as well. But we think of them as being these digital soothsayers already living in the future. But the problem is... We end up talking about them a lot and not necessarily to them. Yeah. So that's what I wanted to change with this Wired story. I wanted to embed with IRL teens in their realms and actually talk to them about the, how they use social media and their unique relationships with their phones. How has it changed the way teenagers socialize? I mean, there is obviously a very sort of, you know, audience-based aspect to it because yeah. there, there is this public record people can see what you're up to. The other thing is that there is a quantifiable corollary, I suppose, to mm -hmm. popularity. So like a kid that's famous at school, so th they're a jock or whatever, they will tend to have more followers on Instagram than like saying a nobody, mm -hmm. sad face. <laughs> Nobody, <laughs> sad, sad face. face You're yeah. talking about emojis. In fact, let's jump to that because you were surprised about the way that teenagers used emojis, and I learned a lot learning what some of these emojis mean. Oh, completely. And this is obviously just the teens I spoke to, so this is largely anecdotal mm -hmm. for them. But the smiley face being the death knell for flirtation, I had no idea. Yeah. Apparently, that is like a very polite thank you, but no thank you. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, here's some of the, you know, the indications what all these means. You know, personal pat on the back, the nails, what are you doing? I didn't know the signals, F-O-M-O, fear of missing out. Yeah, I thought that FOMO. was like crying so funny. I thought that was LOL. That, LOL is, is something entirely different. Also, different generations. Use, so Use things differently. Absolutely. Yeah. But the smile, I mean, the moon emoji, mm -hmm. the, that's my favorite catch-all. That's just awkwardness that's like ooh no yeah, yeah. Well, it is so in, it's what's it's so interesting to me that 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 there's a very distinct set of rules here yes and and you write when when you have the tools in which to stalk everyone all the time the most seemingly aloof person wins absolutely so it's almost like the staring match it's called thirst that's the phenomenon mm, in terms thirst, of like yes. the, you're doing too much so you're betraying your own interest in someone versus just casually being very like cool about it right and cool has been around since the dawn of time like yes. hence sunglasses we all know how that works yes but with what? all people putting all this stuff out there it's uncool if you're that if you're too interested absolutely yeah. so you can't just be this unbridled font of enthusiasm you've got to be kind of like oh hey i see you a pew study said that 60 percent of parents have checked their teen social media profiles i'm surprised it's not higher than that what about these secret accounts? What are they? What should we be looking at? I know. When we think about secret accounts, it sounds very gavel thwack. It feels like, you know, oh, no, this is happening. And there are secret accounts. A lot of teens I spoke to, their Instagram accounts are private. But then even within that, they have an extra private account. So that's, like, for, like, four or five of their friends where they can see them doing, like, incendiary, illicit activities. Can parents monitor their teenagers. Ooh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it really possible these you days? You know what? It is. And the thing that I found really reassuring about talking to the teens, but not only them, but the, with their parents, is that be well-versed enough on the platform that you know what you're doing. I think that it's almost like a detente. If you as a kid know that your parents are, like, really good at Snapchat, then yeah. you're going to trust, you're going to basically trust them that they will be lurking on you occasionally. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tough thing with Snapchat, though, is it disappears. It, disappears. it does indeed. It Hence... Don't take Snapchat screen grabs. That's a faux pas. That's very bad. Yeah. Mm. It's In, not done. This is a really good, really good great. article. Yeah. Yeah. Thank it you. It is a great article. Yeah. Mary H.K. My Choi. favorite Thanks. is the guide to the emoji, like flirting with teens, like which emojis you use for like flirting. Emoji. Emoji. Emojis. 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 Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Mary H.K. Choi, thanks. Um, go to cbsthismorning.com to find out more about Mary's experience with the teens and social media. Trust me, you'll appreciate it.